well, two key points. So infrastructure and we need to bring more business to the town of Centerville because we need the commercial tax base to offset the residential tax base. So we so so I know people don't like to hear this, but we don't want to nobody wants to raise taxes. We try we look at places we try you gotta look for the ways to lower taxes. So commercial taxes are higher than, than residential taxes. So you can get more commercial tax, you, we can probably we would like to keep it the same. I don't know, say if we can lower it, but well, we we're we are going in the right direction. Let's just say that um, the DPW staff was short staffed for a long time. So we had when I was on council previously, we had to increase the wages. So we increased the wages. We got the the leops for the uh, law enforcement, so we can get better qualified police officers and keep them. So that's a 20 year retirement now um, costs a little bit of money, but to keep qualified officers, you had to do it just like to keep qualified people all over. We had to look at the wages because they were back in the 20th century. So we had to bring it up to the 21st century. And the other thing is, I know, and a lot of people say this is we got to bring the technology up to the 21st century. Like we're lacking behind in some things. So, like, I know a lot of people talk about um, Breeze Line. Breeze Line is probably the only internet um, service we have in Center Hill. Now, now they've allowed Talkie came to um, Northbrook, and I do believe, I'm not 100% sure, but I do believe they're coming through the middle of town now with Talkie, which is fiber optic. In Centerville, there's a little over 5,000 residents live in the town of Centerville. Last election, there was, I think, 500 and some people that voted. So that's 10% of the population that voted. So we need to, I guess when, but I've been, I've been out hitting the streets campaigning and just tell people I'm going to put it on my social media. It says, please come out and vote, support and vote October 2nd. So if we can get people to come out and vote, if I put it on there and I said, and I put myself out there, I like. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you myself the people's cell phone number, the emails if they want to call me or contact me email. Um, I, I will I will answer them. I'm all about talking. I see a lot of them do not know about the infrastructure pro problems. I don't think, and they don't just so out of the the voters, like I was saying, majority of the people that vote are Symphony Village because they're retirees. Northbrook. They're all working class, so they, I guess they don't want to be bothered with it. I hate to say it, but I wish every, I wish everybody in the town would come out and vote on October 2nd. Out of 5,000, at least, at least get half of them to come out and vote. But the, I think the most votes we've ever had is when we went from a council of three to a council of five, and I think 800 people voted. Wow. And that's 800 out of 5,000. I said the biggest thing now is we like the, the sewer plan is number one, number one should be number one on everybody's list no. because you can't approve any more. We're not in where we have to put a moratorium in, but it's, it's close because we don't have any uh, EDUs left is, which is sewer uses. So we don't have that many left. So before we can approve anything, you have to get a sewer plan. <laughs> right. That's yeah. the biggest thing. Yeah. How expensive are those? I I want to say the, the if I remember the price tag when I last ran on council, it was up of upwards of thirty million to go from we're at five hundred thousand gallons a day to go to a million gallons a day. It was like thirty million, and I do think our, they did get some some funding from some, I think, DNR and from the federal government, but I don't think it covered the whole cost of it. The number one is the infrastructure. I want to plan for the future. So even though we have an aging infrastructure now, some of the infrastructure now that's new is going to be aging in 20 years. So we have to have a plan in place to replace that. So we are not in the same boat we are now that we have to have come up with $30 million for a sewer plan. Where we can put, if we can put money aside, get some commercial taxes and, and get set money aside so we can have a replacement plan for everything like vehicles, repairing roads. That's the biggest thing. That's my my biggest thing is because I, I'm 
I have a roads background and I know what the infrastructure does. So I know what, what it's about. So that's my number one thing. And the other thing is try to get, like I said, you get more businesses. Now I don't want all kinds of businesses in town. I don't want a Walmart. Like we voted down to Royal Farms the last year I was on the council because it didn't fit where it was supposed they wanted to put it. But there's some uses in there that they, they should go, but I don't know. I guess I would have to do some 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 research to find out how to attract businesses like that. That's what that so I'm not a big business, but like I said, I'm a big nuts and bolts guy. Like I'm all about the infrastructure is my number one thing. Right. Because I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it cost, costing a hundred million dollars to fix all the streets and everything in the town of Centerville in 10 years. We have to plan for the future. So, so we have to have a five and 10 year and a 15 year plan because the, the res regular citizen doesn't understand infrastructure. They just see your pretty roads, like, but they would understand it if they had a big pothole in the road. And then I could explain to them, well, this is why the big potholes in the road. So yes. That's my that's my 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 biggest thing that I want to I want to get fixed.